What is up, Fox? It is I, Jet, and I'm here to watch a video with you. And so is Loki, apparently. So, today was a good day. Um, it took me forever to be able to do this video, because half my face was fucking basically paralyzed. Um, yeah. I couldn't feel my eye up to the eyelid, um, most of my nose, my chin, my earlobe, the bottom of my earlobe. Yeah, it was a great day. And I couldn't form like full sentences. It was interesting. You guys, yeah. <laughs> I wish you guys could have heard it, uh, but yeah, it was not cool. It was not cool at all. You fucks would have loved it. Seriously. Um, especially those who always accuse me of being high during my videos. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys would have loved it. Um, I have a horrible fear of the dentist. Like, horrible fear of the dentist. Like, when people say they're scared of the dentist, they have a fear of the dentist. Like, yeah, mine tops that. They have to give me, like, large doses of Valium to get me through the door. I start to cry when I get into the chair. Um, yeah, I try to run, if not dosed. Um, they gas me, like, horribly gas me when I'm in the chair. If they don't knock me out completely. That's why I'm missing a lot of my teeth, like, here and stuff. Um, because I won't tell people I have a cavity or I broke my teeth because of my pain problems with pain I I grind a lot because of my pain disorder it causes me to clench and grind so I break a lot of my teeth uh, yeah I won't tell them that my teeth break so I don't have to go to the dentist like I fear them with a passion people are like maybe you should brush your teeth more I do I, I do my, my dentist can tell you like my teeth are in great condition except for I break them and once you I, for people that break their teeth can testify to this once you break your teeth it doesn't matter how well you clean them you're gonna get a cavity there's, there's nothing you can really do about that. Except for see Satan. That's why I call my dentist. Any dentist. I call them the devil or I call him Satan. So yeah. Eventually you're, you, you have to go see them. Yeah. That's why I had to go see today. I had to get a root canal. So yeah. Once they gassed me and they gave me Valium... They got me into the chair. They numbed everything that they could possibly numb, which paralyzed half my face. So when I smiled, only half my face smiled and the rest just drooped. It was interesting. I had to wear my mask. Like I have my, this mask is my mask. I had to wear it for hours afterwards because it was just concerning <laughs> I was sitting in my own home and um yeah it was concerning so I didn't it's still a little bit wonky on the one side of my face so the comment section should be interesting for this video yeah I was still I wore my mask for the longest time on this one so I had to get a root canal today. It was great. It was an interesting time. Yeah. They gassed me. They they gave me so much Novocaine they paralyzed my face. So it was it was it was a great day. I had so much fun. Yeah, but when I came home today I I found out that uh apparently uh Chantal became Dee Dee. 
but it's okay because Chantal's doing it. She can bang married men with children in Turkey, but that's okay. Wow. Nice. I didn't know that. So it's okay when she does it, but Dee Dee bangs someone who's not going out with someone anymore. And it's horrible. Right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Do you guys remember the videos she did? Like a bajillion of them saying that Dee Dee was banging her boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But she's banging a guy that has a whole family back in Turkey. Am I the only one who thinks that's horrible? Didn't she just go on a tirade about how she thinks it's rude and gross that grown people set people off to watch them rage? But she can screw up a marriage between two people who have children, but that's fine. Right. Hmm. But it's okay. Because he's in Canada. She's the wife and the three kids, I think it was, is back in Turkey. So it's like they're not even married, yeah? Man, I wish I was that delusional, I really do. Her screwed up logic is so masterful. She could probably make Killing a bus full of nuns, absolutely guilt-free in her mind. Really. What the hell? Is nothing sacred to her? I guess if she wants something, like someone's husband, it's, it's perfectly fine. She doesn't really take into account that that's someone's dad. She's breaking up someone's family. Really? I like the part when she said, it's not like they're actually married. <laughs> Just because there's an ocean between them does not mean they're not married. Man. I wish my brain worked like that. I could get it, like, I could get into some really good shit. Man. It's really good that she doesn't get married. She could never do that whole till death do you part shit. She never got sick of the dude, she'd just kill him. She just told the police, well, it said till death do you part. I just thought that meant kill him and then I wouldn't be married anymore. God. That's what it said. Kill him. Then I could be free. Jeez. What planet does this woman live on? Canada is not a planet, right? Just, I'm just checking. Like, I had to wait for the numbing to wear off and to, like, peruse over that video again just to make sure I heard it correctly. Like, seriously? Honestly? I've been married for 20, almost 21 years. 
my husband's been to Canada. I had to ask him. I was like, if you go to Canada, does that mean we're not married? And he's like, no, no. It doesn't mean you go to other places we're not married anymore. It means we're, we're married. Why are you asking me this? Are you planning to go to Canada? I was like, no. I was just wondering. I was just making sure. So, I mean, I was just checking. thought I'd ask. Just so I could be sure, you know? Just to make sure it's all in Chantal's head. Like, she is, honestly, one of those people who believes things are bad when it's done against her. But when she does it, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. I lit your house on fire, but it's okay. Because I lit your house on fire. It's only bad if you light my house on fire. That's how it works. That woman needs help. Actual help. Not more wheelchairs, as she calls them. She needs actual help. It's good to hear that he kicked her to the curb. Watching her, like, sitting there, talking to her beezers, like she was such hot shit that she got someone's husband. Like, she thought that was the coolest thing in the world. She sounded like a middle schooler. She really has the mentality of a first grader. And some of her beezers actually sat there and were like, Yeah, that sounds great. You got a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're overseas. He's not married and the family's gone. If the family's not around, then he's not married. Oh, God. Really? They don't... They don't self-reflect like what if that was your husband yeah they're gone they're far away working a job possibly to immigrate you over there how would you feel if your husband was working to get you and your family to immigrate to another country but banging some fat chick with a youtube channel whilst doing it i don't know about you but I don't have a problem with it. It's kind of a little bit of disrespect. And man, with all the STDs she has, Lord knows what he picked up from her. That man needs to get checked. Ugh. And I really want to know what his wife looks like. Especially since he rolled around in whatever, back of the car, the woods, her, God help him if it was in her bed, whatever motel room he rolled around with with her. This man's wife's got to be hideous if that's what he chose to roll around with. You know what I'm saying? That's just gross. Listening to her talk about it and giggle. I wanted to be gassed again. I was like, someone please turn the nitrous oxide back on and put me back to sleep. This is something I don't want to listen to or be awake for. It kind of dawned on me also, she's probably fucking lying. She's the only one in existence that would be excited about breaking up somebody's family. Everyone else, I think, would be a little bit disgusted with themselves. Especially when you're talking about 
Yeah, this guy I'm banging. He's got a wife and three kids. Oops. He's a great lover. And I'm sorry, you're saying this shit. You got a mom that's still very much alive. You know what happened if I said that shit? My parents live in a whole other state, but they'd make that trip. I assure you. They'd make that trip just to beat the life out of me. They really would. They'd happily beat the life out of me for trying to break up somebody's family. You want to know why? Because they, they may not have raised me completely functionally right, but they sure as hell raised me better than to break up somebody's damn family. For sure. And for, they definitely raised me better than to whore around like that. That blatantly, obviously, just to whore myself around all over, well, all over Canada. And then to televise it like that. My parents would beat the ever-loving life out of me. They would they would most likely video it just to play it on my channel yeah i don't know why her mom don't beat her beat the life out of her for the shit she'd be saying seriously the second that shit would leave my mouth 30 minutes later, guaranteed, my last breath would leave my mouth. Because my dad would enter my house with a quickness. Oof. Hmm. Who says crap like that? Can anyone tell me? That is just trifling behavior. She's, she's almost 40. Almost 40. This is the kind of reason she is not with somebody permanently. You don't have to be married. That's fine. If she doesn't want to have kids, that's fine too. You don't have to do that normal shit. But she talks about wanting to be with somebody, wanting to share your life with somebody. This is exactly the reason why you are not with somebody. Why are you going to destroy people's lives? A marriage with your kids. If anything, you are definitely destroying them kids' lives. Congratulations, you're an asshole. That, you know what? I shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't be surprised. Well, I'm gonna go. That's all I want to tell you fuckers. My face was almost paralyzed. I got a root canal today. My mouth tastes like rubber gloves and ass. But don't worry, I can... My, my whole face works. Well, my eye is still a little wonky. But I can move my... Most of my face now. Yep. I can feel it again. I'll make another video. Don't worry. I'm working on one. This is just to say hi and I'm not dead yet. I just cannot believe that shit. Can someone please just... Tell me what planet she lives on. Because it sure as fuck ain't Earth. I swear to you, it ain't Earth. Yeah, I'll talk to you fuckers later. Like, share, subscribe. Deuces.